welcome to lit valentine it's my pleasure to welcome you all once again to my channel today we are going to focus on some of the interesting idioms which can be helpful for you to improve your vocabulary so let's move on to the next slide idioms to improve your vocabulary the first word is the lights are on but nobody's home meaning to describe a person who is not very smart if you want to utter to describe a person who is not very smart instead of using these words you can use the lights are on but nobody's home this word will demonstrate the meaning which we are going to convey so the next word is blue in the face meaning weakened or tired after trying many times if you want to say weakened or tired after many times you can use the word blue in the face this word symbolize and demonstrate the meaning of the meaning which i am giving here so the next thing is to put your toe in the water meaning to test something before you make a decision if you want to say to test something before you make a decision you can use the word to put your toe in the water these words will help you to improve your vocabulary while you are conveying or talking with someone the next word is bit someone's head off meaning to criticize someone angrily if you want to say to criticize someone angrily or the words which denotes this kind of meaning you can use the word bit someone's head off the next word is cost an arm and a leg meaning be very expensive If you want to say something that it is very expensive or the word related to very expensive you can use the word cost an arm and a leg all these sorts of words will help you to improve your vocabulary while you are talking with someone and makes you to stand unique among the common speakers so with this let's move on to the next slide the notable works of homer So guys in the previous video i had talked to you about the foundations of modern european literature and the european literature began with the renaissance in the 14th and 15th century and the works of the great classical text so in that i had mentioned the notable works of homer just like that iliad odyssey and that's it but today in this video i am going to focus on the works of homer in the detailed illustration manner so the first work of homer is iliad iliad referred as the song of ilium or song of ilian it is an ancient greek epic poem written in dactylic hexameter set during the trojan war which happened between king agamemnon and warrior aeschylus it consists of 15693 lines so here the trojan war so what is actually the trojan war the trojan war it's about the helen the wife of the greek hero menelaus eloped with the trojan prince paris this led to the trouble and the greeks declared war on troy actually this war lasted for 10 long years but iliad is about the last one week of the war in this story the trojans won the war and they were merry at night drinking along with that but the greek did not let them to enjoy easily so they brought a huge wooden horse inside soldiers were hiding it is called as trojan's horse on the night 
Greek killed the Trojans. So finally the Greeks won the war. So this story the Iliad is told by Homer and the sequel to the Iliad is Odyssey. Iliad is actually the Greek classical work. It's actually the work of oral composition. It talks about the last one week of the Trojan War. During that time, that is during the war time, two Greek heroes were fighting. Who are they? Agamemnon and Aeschylus. These two heroes were fighting and Aeschylus was an angry man who wants to teach Agamemnon a lesson. Because they both want the same female slave. And Aeschylus says that he is going, he is not going to fight because Agamemnon is not going to give him the slave. Meanwhile, Aeschylus' dear friend Patroclus wounded in the war by the Trojan hero Hector. Then during that time, Aeschylus did not keep quiet. He kills Hector and drags his dead body in the battlefield for past three days. This is actually the worst thing a human can do to a human. To deny burial. But Aeschylus did that. And everybody placed him to bury Hector's body. Finally Aeschylus asked for Hector's weight in gold. After that only he will bury his body. So all the 10 year story of Trojan war was told in the flashback in the Iliad. It's actually the greatest epic written in the dactylic hexameter which inspired many literary works later. As I said you before, Iliad is actually the story written by Homer and the sequel to the Iliad is Odyssey. It focuses on the Greek hero Odysseus. He is known as Ulysses in Roman myths. What is the story of Odyssey? Here Odysseus has to travel back to his home in Ithaca after the 10 years of Trojan War. Meanwhile it is believed that he has died and Odysseus wife name was Penelope and his son name was Telemachus. They had a bad time because of their enemies the Nephstenors. Here as I said you before Odysseus has to travel back to Ithaca after the war. It took him nearly 10 long years. So on the way he had faced many fights. Meanwhile, his wife Penelope and son Telemachus had a great bad time. They had enemies, Nestorus, and they had the threat from the enemies. Because they wanted to marry Penelope, she says she will weave the wedding gown. Once it is ready, she will do the marriage. But what actually she do was, she will unravel it to postpone the marriage. So that is called Penelope Vamp. But again, this story, uh, what is he, was written by Tennyson. The same story was written by Tennyson. He also had talked about the same story. But the story was written by Tennyson and it is also written about it in his poem, Ulysses. So the same Ulysses story was written by Tennyson and the name Ulysses. Ulysses is actually a poem, guys. So with Slide. These two epics that is the Iliad and Odyssey laid the foundation of western literature and Homer lived in the ancient period called the Archaic period. This is the period came after the Greek Dark Ages. At the time we have the poets like Sappho from Lesbos. But it was the time of great injustice that is the Greek classical period. It was also the time of great injustices, ignorance. People lived almost like animals. Civilization came into being but by the 6th century BC civilization really flourished that is 200-300 years after Homer and it gave rise to the classical period in Greece, the time of brilliance philosophy, 
poetry and so many of the contemporary discipline came into being in our society in the classical period so apart from this we have homer who is not alone just written the epics like iliad and odyssey apart from this homer also written a mock epic called batrachomachia or the battle of the frogs or mice it is a pseudo homeric work which means because we are not sure whether homer written it so that is why this work is called as pseudo homeric work and as i said you before homer alone was not the only writer during the greek classical period we have sappho who is a female poet from lesbos homer also written homeric hymn it is a collection of 33 anonymous ancient greek hymns celebrating individual god in dactylic hexameter then he has written epic cycle it is a collection of greek epic poems that related the story of trojan war it includes the cypria the ethiops the so called the little iliad elopresis the nostoi telegony in dactylic hexameter all these works are written by homer but the most important was iliad and odyssey with us we came to the end of the session please don't forget to subscribe lit valentine please hit the notification bell so that you guys will get new videos every week you can follow me on every tuesdays thursdays and saturday i will upload all the new videos which will help you a lot and thank you for supporting me i need all your support in my new journey with this let's come to the end of the session thank you guys for the listening have a great day take care bye bye